The psoas muscle is like the Kim Kardashian of muscles. It gains a ton of attention, but also a lot of blame on pain, especially in the low back and the hips. This is true to an extent, absolutely, but there's more to the equation than just the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle is the only muscle that attaches your spine all the way through to your femur bone, that big thigh bone. So if we're collapsed and seated all day in this rounded posture, then it's not just the psoas that gets tight and compressed, it's actually your connective tissue, your fascia, that has started to morph and migrate into this area, causing that compression, causing that adhesion, which is making and adding all of that blame to the psoas. So it's not just the psoas, it's all of the compression that has built up in this area. So really what we need to do is learn and know how to release it because this will help with your back pain or even with your hip pain. Now, in order to release the psoas muscle, we need to go deep very deep. This is one of the deeper muscles in the core and it can be very hard to reach. All you need is a rolled up towel. So this is going to be a fascia release or a fascia decompression technique that will actually reach or at least start releasing the tension in the psoas and all the surrounding areas where the connective tissue has started to grip, adhere and get very tight and bound. You may be wondering, well, you have your intestines in the way. You also have just a lot of stuff. So how are we going to reach it? Well, you might not reach it your first try, but just working in this area, you're going to be applying pressure directly into the belly through to the intestines, but that's going to be adding that pressure to the psoas. And remember, it's not just the psoas we're trying to release. We're trying to release all of the connective tissue that is built up around the intestines in the core around the spinal column also into the psoas and all the surrounding muscles so we're doing a lot of work here and there's more benefits to just back pain and hip pain by releasing your psoas you're going to start improving blood and oxygen flow all the way throughout your pelvis and down to the legs you're going to start targeting and triggering your parasympathetic nervous system which is that rest digestive and restorative state let's just get started. So grab your rolled up towel and let's start off with our first position. Let's lay flat on the floor and nice and slow, we're gonna bring our belly button directly over top of the towel. And now let's start up on the elbows and we need to start connecting to the breath. The breath is such an important factor here to actually release the psoas or any connective tissue in this area. So let's start off by inhaling for six counts and exhaling for four counts. This is gonna teach you how to access your diaphragm and create more heat in this area so that we can actually start creating more of a release. Once you spend about a minute or so doing this, now let's start focusing on the exhalation phase of the breath. Now let's exhale for six counts while you inhale for four counts. Now you're gonna start feeling the towel sinking even deeper within this area, but you need to relax. Try not to be tense, don't flex the core, relax as much as, much as you can and surrender to the towel to allow it to actually get deep into this area. To get a little bit deeper, you can bring your upper body flat on the floor just like this and keep up with that breathing pattern. Now that you've settled in for about another minute or so, let's start to add in some twisting and some torquing. Now we're not just sliding over top of the towel, let's stay gripped and let's walk our arms and our upper body over to the right and you're gonna feel that this might pull up more pain and you might be able to reach the psoas a little bit more effectively. So let's stay here for about five full breaths. Once you've done so, let's come back to neutral and let's torque on over to the other direction. And you might feel that one side is actually more painful than the other, and that's completely normal. We're not symmetrical. So now let's stay on that left side for another five breaths. If you wanna stay longer, of course you can do that. We wanna spend a minimum of three to five minutes in this position. So once you're ready, let's come back to neutral and let's bring your hands on your shoulders, exhale up and off. For this next position, all we're doing is bringing the towel a few inches lower. So feel your pubic bone, let's have the towel just above that bone. So now we're gonna be targeting a different area of the psoas. So let's approach this the same way, nice and slow, 
bring your lower belly directly over top of the towel. Let's start up on the elbows and connect the breath. But right off the hop, let's start exhaling of six counts and inhaling of four counts. And then you might start feeling different pain, different sensation here, and that's completely normal. We are so compressed in this area, we need to spend a lot of time here to actually cause and create a release. Now, if you're actually feeling referred pain, such as some tension or pain in your back or in different areas of the body, that's also normal. That's telling you that this is a cause site for other areas in the body. So that's what's so brilliant and unique about the connective tissue. It's not a linear structure, it's a web. It connects the entire body together. So by working in this low belly, again, you might be releasing your back or your hips or different areas within your body. So now that you've settled in, let's torque on over to the right again. Let's stay here for a minimum of five full breaths, exhaling six counts, inhaling four. Once you've done so, nice and slow, let's torque on over to that left side. Let's spend another five breaths here or so. Now you can tell that if we're spending five minutes in each position, that's already 10 minutes. But these 10 minutes are significantly more impactful than just doing stretches because when you're stretching, you're only lengthening the tissue as long as it can really be in that moment. But what we want to do is unlock the connective tissue and start integrating this tissue back. That's extremely important. So now once you spent your time here, hands on your shoulders, exhale up and off. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the psoas muscle runs all the way through the pelvis and connects to your femur. So we can be working more at the top of the femur to cause this release. But before we do that, I want you to try these positions first and let me know if you feel a release. If you want to gain access to more positions, let me know in the comments below and I would love to create another part two video to help release your psoas and to help you get out of back pain. If you actually felt to release in your psoas and in other areas of your body, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know as well. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.